So this is my new truck. It is a 1993 GMC Sierra. And uh, I'm trying to hunt down a uh, problem with one of my brakes. Um, the truck will pull to the left when, uh, when I brake hard. And uh, it's just sort of like a slight, hardly noticeable thing, but it's kind of irksome. So uh, I've been hunting it down, and this is how I've been figuring out where the problem lies. If it pulls to the left, then obviously the right is braking less the right side is braking less than the left side. So to determine whether that's front or back, I have, um, I'm using my uh, little tool here. This I got for like 15 bucks on eBay. It's a touchless uh, digital infrared thermometer. And so you just press this button here and it, um, you know, reads the temperature of whatever it's pointed at, 80.7 degrees because it's a little bit off. Anyway, what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to find some point that's accessible in my brakes here. I took this wheel off just to show, but um, I'm going to use this uh, this surface right here and uh, just take the temperature of it. I took it on a quick uh, test drive, maybe 10 minutes or so, and I'm just going to take the temperature of this mating surface, this uh, surface of metal right here. So here we have, let's see, 101.1. I'm going to run on over to the other side. So I'm going to take the temperature of the exact same surface, of the exact same part on the other side. What do we have here? We have 109.5. This tells me that this wheel here, this brake, is working harder than that one because um, when you brake, you're transferring kinetic energy and thermal energy via the brakes and the entire brake assembly has to uh, absorb all of the energy of the stopping truck. Therefore, if this one is cooler, that means that it is absorbing less energy and is uh, not, um, not performing up to specs. So, um, I can do this to the backs too. I actually just did the backs and the backs read within one degree of each other so that's not, um, that's not too bad. But um, ideally you want to go out and go for like a really hard drive, you know, go for like maybe 20 minutes, really lots of braking and stuff and really warm up all those brake parts. And then you can really see the difference. I just went on a short drive and I determined that this guy is malfunctioning somehow. So I'm going to have to take it apart, clean it, put it back together, um, bleed it, do whatever has to be done to it uh, to make sure that it uh, um, starts working well again. So that's how you can figure out which one of your brakes is... Uh, not working. Fifteen bucks. Well, one final note, something I forgot to mention. If um, you get a reading that's way, way, way hotter than any of the other wheels, that will typically mean that um, your calipers or your shoes or whatever are hanging up. And um, that's like if you hear a squeal when you're not applying the brakes or if the truck, you know, really leans to one side or the other or um, really, really um, thick smell of brake, brake pads, that's when your, uh, your wheel's hanging up, and so that can tell you something else as well. Um, just, you know, a handy little tool. The back brakes, depending on where you take your reading from, the backs will be a little bit um, less hot than the fronts, so don't compare your front to their backs, compare them side to side. Um, and uh, it should help you out, and try and maybe tell you where you ought to go.